Hey guys, welcome back. Orbom here, bringing you another episode of our PTG Live content. Now today, people, today we are here. It is nice and early. I just got back from taking my final exam, but now we are on spring break. Uh, I'm now going to be here nice and relaxed. Well, today we're going to be playing some metal decks. Uh, this is a deck that I've actually been working on a lot on stream. We worked in the past few days on it in stream. I played a couple IRL games as well between that time period. So uh, it's a deck that I'm kind of proud of. I hopefully it does well today on the video. Um, was a, it's a Dusk Main Zorak deck. It's a metal box Zorak deck, but with no Magnezone. It's actually turbo. I got this idea because I saw a lot of people playing uh, Dusk Main Garb, and I like Dusk Main Garb. But the problem with Dustman Garb was the same problem I'm having with a lot of these other deck lists. Ooh, excuse me, I had a sneeze there. Um, there's a lot of problems I have with a lot of these Garb Door deck lists, and that is no matter how many draw supports you play, no matter how consistent you make the deck, no matter what you do, you're always going to end up clunking. You're always going to end up drawing poorly. Like, And that just sucks, man. I went to a tournament recently with uh, Mahone's variant minus like one card, adding another belt and like another Cynthia. Uh, it was like Mahone's variants of uh, a Buzzle Garb. And I just clumped against every Zoark deck I played against. I couldn't do anything. And I, it's been happening to me more and more. Like uh, The first... 10 games I played with that deck. It was am I thought the deck was super broken. I thought the deck was amazing. I was winning every game. And then I went to an actual league challenge with it. Not a league cup, luckily. A league challenge with it. And then I just just did really poorly. They couldn't draw well. And that's the problem I have with Garbodor in general right now. At least with Zark, you can keep drawing over and over and over again. And um it's easy, it's easier to get your field blowers. <laughs> because you're playing draw supporters and you have these field blowers to get rid of the garbodors on top of everything else. So I like Zoric. I'm gonna be playing Zoric a little bit more uh, with uh, with these decks instead. And the first thing I want to try out is Zoric Duskman. Now, before we get into the video, drop a like if you have not already. Subscribe, share, all that good jazz. I'm we're, we're real close to getting like 4K subscribers. And if we get 50 likes on this video, of course I got you with another upload. So don't forget to drop that like. Uh, it's always greatly appreciated. Help supports me, and you guys have been crazy supportive. So keep that crap up. Um, as well as answer the common question today. If you if you answer it, uh, you have a chance to win some Ultra Prism codes. Today we're gonna ask who's your favorite metal type legendary. We have a couple right here. We have Duskmane Necrozma. We have Celesteela. We have uh, if you count, we can count Ultra Beast legendary. Sure. Uh, we have Reggie Steel. We have the actual Sogolus. We have a lot of metal type legendaries. We have Dialga that exists. Things like that. Who's your favorite Steel type legendary? Let me know in the comments down below. And. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So we are playing a 3-3 line of Zoark. Just some, more, some Zoraks to get yourself some uh, trades going. Right is beating is good as well. Right is beating is always a good attack. So we're going to be playing some DCs. Not too many because DCs kind of get in the way. Because we are playing a Max Elixir build of of a, of a the, the, the Dusk main deck. So we're not playing Magazone. No Magazone. None of that garbage. I don't like Magazone because the problem with Magazone is that if you don't set it up, then uh, you're going to have a bad time. This is that simple. Like a Magazone deck is great only when it works, and when it doesn't work, you're having you're just not you're just not doing well, and it sucks. But we're not playing that because I want to play the turbo build with uh, with Sogolo Prism, Reggie Steels, and Max Luxor. I am cutting down on one Reggie Steel recently. I wanted to max out a little bit more and draw supporters for early game. I found that it's been kind of problematic. And I know you're seeing the Cell Steel, and you're wondering why am I playing Cell Steel. I'll tell you right now why I'm playing Cell Steel. Uh, whenever I was testing this deck before I started recording it. Uh, I was losing against Zoark Break. Zoark Break is a problem. Moon Press is a great way to deal with Zoark Break because Belted Moon Press does knock out Zoark Break. And then Celesteela is like one of those mediocre Pokemon that's like not good enough to be foul played by Zoark. So if you can if you can Oko the Zoark Breaks while not being foul played yourself or at least being Okoed by foul play, you have a really good position. The only way for them to Oko you is like Blaster with a Choice Band. Or like blast with Kakui, but if you have a fighting fear belt attached, uh, they have to hit 240, which means they have to hit you with choice band and Kakui and Stadium, or they have to find a field blower. So there's a lot of different ways that they could knock you out, but it's very, very unlikely. So I like Celestia for that reason. A uh, Rock of Fall does 30 more damage for each Pokemon in the retreat cost. It really helps against Gardevoir as well because it's just a nice way to deal with Gardevoir, Gardevoir uh, without the need to discard all your energies from attacking. And Blaster is actually really useful in this in this deck. We're probably going to be using Duskmane's GX attack more often, but Blaster is really cool because we're able to look at our prizes. And having Sogaleo Prism Prize sucks. One of the most important cards in this deck list to actually accelerate your Pokemon, especially mid to late game. So having it prized is really bad, but if we can take a look at our prizes and take a knockout and choose what prizes we get, all with Blaster, hitting 190 with a Fighting Fury Belt is a pretty good number. Uh, then we have we have a little bit more control over our game, so that's really cool. So there's another option for you. Plus, whenever we play DCs, it's easy enough to set it up with DCs. So Celesteel, I like Celesteel in this deck list. I, I originally took it out 
But after like having so much trouble against Zoric break decks, I do like it in the deck now. Duskmane Necrozma, obviously great card. 190 HP with Claw Slash, which is good for knocking out babies. Even with a Fighting Fear Belt, you can knock out things like 70 HP basics like Riolu and Wimpods and stuff like that. So I like Claw Slash a lot. Meteor Tempest, obviously our big boy attack doing 220 HP damage and then discarding three energies. Isn't a big deal because we have the likes of Registeel and Sokoyo Prism to help recharge. We even have Mew over here that can copy the attacks of all these Pokemon, including Celesteel and Dawn Wings. And, you know, these Pokemon as well. Well, just help you recharge throughout the game. Sun Eclipse GX is a GX attack that you actually end up using a lot because it's a 3 energy attacking GX attack and it does 250 damage so you can pretty much knock out anything in front of you as long as they tuck a knockout before you and that gives you a time to attack once and then attach again the next turn then Meteor Tempest and then boom bam shablam you are set. Um, I like Duskman a lot in this deck list. I think it's really cool. Uh, we're playing one Registeel, pro, uh, pro, uh, one Registeel with Turbo Arm. Turbo Arm is just a nice early game attack just kind of punching your opponent, putting things in range while also accelerating your bench. So Turbo Bomb is good. Turbo Bomb is very good. And we're playing one Soul Glare Prism. We already talked about Soul Glare. Radiant Stars is really good. But Corona Impact is good in its own right. Fighting Fear Belt does mean you knock out the likes of Tapu Lele's with Corona Impact with a non-GX attacker. And then we have Mew. But Mew is only as good as the energies that you can put on Mew. So there's a problem there. Now Mew... To be able to knock Buzzwalls, you have to like attach multiple energies using all these attacks, right? Buzzwall has a two retreat cost, so you have to at least attach three energies to copy a Rocket Fall to hit for 180. Fighting Fear Ball means 200. So you need a bunch of things to knock out things with Mew. But if we play the Mew EX and copy the likes of Zoark EX, GX, then uh, Rightus Beating is way easier to knock out uh, Buzzwalls than it is than with Mew EX. So we are playing with, uh, with the other Mew, I mean. So we are playing one of these Mew EXs for the Buzzwell matchup, and two DCs, uh, two is seems okay. I mean, even if we don't land the DCs, we can max Luxor manual attachment and then do some shenanigans like that. So I like Mew a lot in this deck list. Without Mew, we have a really tough time against Buzzwell. Uh, we are playing a heavy count of blowers too, so if it is a Buzzwell Garbless, we can deal with it with three with th three field blowers. And we are playing two Leleas because Leleas are good. Uh, Energy Drive is a good attack too, since sometimes your opponent does load up their own Leleas to knock you out, uh, and then you could just revenge with your own lele as well so that's pretty cool we are playing of course four max looks just because it is a turbo build uh four puzzles and we're not playing any sycamore i was playing sycamore i had to cut it out uh, i actually ended up liking mallow a lot more so i did cut it for mallow which is really cool but four puzzles because of zoric and puzzles actually make this deck really really cool four ultra balls uh two bridgets fun stuff there four cynthia's because it's just so good in, in Zoric decks. We could arguably cut one for a Sycamore, but I don't even think it's necessary. I think four Cynthia's is perfectly fine. Four Guzmas, this is something I will never cut because this deck is all about energy manipulation, board state manipulation, and then you have to take knockouts at the right time since if you don't take an, if you take a knockout on a useless card, it, you do get punished because you're losing your energy. So four Guzmas is super important. Also gives you trade spotter throughout the game. Even with puzzles, four Guzmas is too good. Um, one Mallow because it gets you like puzzles, stretchers, DCs in the right times. And three ends. Yeah, three ends because end is just a good card in Zoric decks as we can trade to replenish our hand. Uh, three Fighting Fear Belts because it's super important to have higher HP numbers because that way it's even harder for foul play decks to knock you out. They need a lot more things like Stadium or or a Kikui or Field Blower and stuff like that. So I like the the, uh, the belts. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. I did just get home from the exam, so I'm really tired. I took my class like 7 a.m., so... I just got here and I, I set up everything before I left. That way, as soon as I got in the door, I could just start recording for you guys. Uh, four DCEs, or two DCEs, I'm sorry, and 11 basic metal energy. So that's going to be the deck though, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and get a couple of games. And I should be back if we find one, assuming I even cut out at all. I mean, it would have been a weird, awkward cut since I kept talking, uh, but here we are. And this is why I cut, because it takes too long sometimes. <clears throat> but we're back. We're good. Uh, we're playing against Fire Metal Psychic. Don't know what this is going to be. Or if it was a Fire Metal Dark? No, it was a Fire Dark Psychic. I don't know. Lots of things in my head. <sighs> my throat hurts real bad, though. My throat hurts real bad, so hopefully you can soothe my throat. This opening hand is... It's actually not bad, because we can bridge it into a Cynthia. While preserving a puzzle as well. And we have lots of Guzan, so I don't really care too much about dropping a Guzma here. And if we bridge it, we can get... It depends what my opponent's playing first, but we can get things like... Uh, huh. Okay. Well, here we go. We just got Wayla Park, which is like your you, your opponent stays burned. So I guess like if you want to play Infernape Burning, <laughs> it's better now, I guess. I don't know what this is, man. But we just won a lot of games on stream recently. So I'm hoping we can find more competitive games 
Like, what was that one video? Oh, it was Ho. Ho was a good video because you found a bunch of competitive games. But we've been streaming nothing but like this deck and like other decks that have been winning me a bunch of games. So our elo should be high. So this dude is just we're clearly having fun. <laughs> but it doesn't mean anything when we're gonna body bag him. All right, so this is my only register steal, so I have to play it down. Yeah. But it's good to have metal energies in the discard pile. What if I Lele Bridget? Is there even a point now? I don't think there is. We have three Zorks. Um, I guess I can get a Duskmane here. Oh, uh, you know what I should have done? Now I feel like I misplayed. So I don't have to play Cynthia anymore, or Bridget anymore. What I should have done was attach to the active and try to land a Max Luxor here. That way I could have retreated. But we'll just get this down and uh, we will Cynthia, I guess. So we can get more Pokemon down, more uh, Riolus. We didn't get a Max Luxor, so in the end it didn't really matter too much, but it's still, you know, it's the it's the thought that counts, I guess. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know. But uh, we have end for the following turn. We don't have any Sycamores yet. I guess I'll attach here. Seems decent. And yeah, we're not Sycamores. We don't have any Zoarks yet. So I want to get rid of this um, Bridget in my hand. <clears throat> Alright, see if he gets the, uh, the Zoark. I guess he's trying to find Zoark here. Zoark would indeed knock out my Zorua, and then I would be a sad boy with one less Zorua. If he doesn't get a Zoark, though, oh, he's going to ram me. That's, that works, then. <laughs> if he doesn't get Zoark, it works. Um, Lele is not the best right now. I don't really want to end my opponent, but it seems like I might have to. I'll attach a DCE here, because it doesn't hurt to set this up. And uh, yeah, I'll just play N and hopefully we can get a... Actually, why did I do that? I just made another mistake. <laughs> uh, okay, he's going to be that guy. So let me go ahead and mute him. I don't like people like that. 100% do not like people like that. Still no Zorx. Celestila, is it useful? I don't think it's going to be super useful, so I'm not going to bother. I will play down Mew though. I don't want a Max Luxor yet because I'm going to have Mew on the boards for free retreat. So I think what I'm going to do is just pass here. See, what I should have done is what I was thinking about doing earlier, which is uh, attach and retreat into Registeel and just start turbo arming. So the fact that I didn't do that and just attach the DCE was just me being tired and going, eh. But I need to wake up. So I've got to wake up. I'm here to record a video. When I record videos, I got to make sure they're good. So Zorax, easy enough to knock out, especially since he's probably going to take a knockout here. That means this is going to be like easy money, especially if I can get like a second Max Luxor. Who oh boy, if I can land into a second Max Luxor, that's going to be some spicy, spicy goodness, bro. Spicy goodness, because I can retreat into this and then GX my opponent for knockout, which is going to be so nice. So we're going to try to do that. Unfortunately, we have to get three metal energies to pull it off. So he's going to infernape, huh? So he's playing the burn game. Don't really know why he's playing the burn game, but he's playing the burn game. So luckily we have Mew down, so let's see if I can get me a second Max Luxor uh, on top of this manual attachment. If I can, ooh, we got ourselves a party. Probably shouldn't have played that now, but it's fine. Um, uh, we had to land it for, as well, so. Come on, second Max Luxor. Double puzzle, oh man. It would have been so nice. Everything would have been perfect. It would have all been great. So I guess we can still like, you know, <laughs> switch in GX, I guess. For now, we'll turbo arm onto the other Duskman. I'm afraid of him having fire energies. Um, should I attach the Mew? I don't think I should attach Mew. Mew's too easy to knock out. But we have Guzma in hand. We have a couple metal energies in hand. We still don't have a Zorak, which is kind of problematic, but I think we're okay. He can knock me out with like burn into some shenanigans. If he does, I can knock out the thing that actually has energies on it. And it's very unlikely. Actually, it's not true because burn with Infernape is kind of annoying for my Dusk mains. Because uh, I think, what is it? Burn means that you can hit uh, six. So that's six with 120 is 180. So it's still not a knockout, but if he gets a choice band, it could be problematic. So we're going to need to get ourselves a Fighting Fury Belt this turn, I think. Oh, then he has poison as well, so it is actually 190. Hmm. Does he play super scoop ups? I don't know if he does. You think he would? He's gonna, he's gonna be wasting one of his um, one of his salazzles on my registeel, which I will take. I do not mind. By any means, do I not mind? If I can knock out both the both the both Zorax down, that's gonna be really good for us as well. And I do want to end my opponent while I can, because I might be knocking out one of his Zorax. So definitely gonna try to do that this turn. 
and hopefully he cannot land any shenanigans. So we're gonna need a couple of things. First things first, we'll get rid of that blower. I will attach here, and I will end. And hopefully we can get ourselves a sycamore and some other good good. All right, we got ourselves a Zorak, but still no, not, I keep saying sycamore. There's no sycamore in the deck. Belts, I would like to get more Fighting Fury belts. Uh, do I GX? I don't think I GX. I think I just regularly attack this. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Let me toss metal energy here. Um, if I regularly attack it, then I'm only losing two energies. Double puzzle, and we got the belt, which is so good. What does double puzzle do for me? Does it give me more max luxers? It does give me more max luxers. Is it worth? It might be worth. I mean, we're knocking out one of his Zorax. I don't think we GX it, though. I guess we can try to land more Max Luxers next turn. Uh, I think we just attack it without GXing. Because if he knocks me out here, he's down to two prizes, which means all we need to do is land one GX, and we can knock out whatever comes out with uh, Sun Eclipse with that. So, yeah, I think we're just going to Meteor Tempest it here. Take a knockout. Because we can GX it next turn if he doesn't knock me out. I mean, if he knocks, obviously, if he knocks me out, then I can't GX him. Because now we're even prized. But, like, uh, we have two energies on this, is what I'm trying to say. So, it, like, there's a lot of good that's coming out of this. But we have to land another Max Elixir, which is bad. Because chances of us landing that are not super high. He has a blower, so now he can knock us out if he has the Lazl in hand. Does he have the Lazl in hand? That's the thing, though. He needs it. He played that, but I think he does. I think he's calculating right now. He does take a knockout, which means we're going to have to try to land a Max Luxor using this double puzzle and uh, draw support. Oh, is, that, is he going to double puzzle right now? Does he does he have another Salazzle down there, or he does not? Uh, he, I guess he can get Ultra Ball to land it, and then uh, we can GX him, and then he has no way to really attack us after that. So, uh, yeah, he's going to do it. He's 100% going to do it. That's crazy. So he got double puzzle. Off of that end of four, he got double puzzle. Can we talk about that real quick? Like, this man is a god. <laughs> All right, so he's going to knock us out here. Assuming they're not prized, he's going to knock us out. And then we have to land a Max Luxor. So whether we land it through N or we land it through this double puzzle real quick, we're going to have to do something to land this Max Luxor. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are three more energies left in the deck. So it's not looking the best for us by any means. He has, he got, so dude, can we talk about his hand? He got Field Blower and double puzzle that's wild i can't believe he got all of that just off of end of four that's not fair i'm playing tcgo on hard on hard mode tonight huh that's what's happening i was playing it on easy mode while i'm streaming but when i'm recording man it's hard mode bro who turned this up to hard mode? i don't want to play tcgo in hard mode i want to play in the same mode as everyone else ridiculous man ridiculous he also doesn't have any more room for his auras unless he puts one down right now uh which he's not going to why is he doing that? I'm not too sure. You think he'd play more Zorax to actually attack me with. Uh, but that's Knockout, which sucks. Because uh, this is exactly Knockout. Look at that. That's wild. That's wild. Alright, can we land this Max Luxor? Because we really need to now, which sucks. Um, can we top deck something useful? Alright, let's uh, let's trade the... Uh, I kind of... I might want to play... If I can land this Max Luxor I'm playing in. Let me, let me do Double Puzzle here first. To give me Dusk Main back and a Max Luxor back. I can get a Fighting Fury belt back as well. Uh, do I want to get the belt back? Not really. I'd rather get the Pokemon back. Maybe it's not the best play, but if we need to land this, can we land it? Oh, no. We have another Max Luxor in the deck, though. So we're really just going to have to bank on landing these Max Luxors, bro. We really have to bank on it. I don't want to end my opponent. So I, I have to send the other to get a Max Luxor. If I, if I land this Max Luxor, then uh, we're really in the clear. We're like super in the clear. If we don't land this Max Luxor, then it's less likely. Let me get another Pokemon just so that I can increase my odds. Let's see how many are prized as well. We have three. Okay, we have three in there. The chances are actually not that bad. Like the way, the more I look at it, the more chances are for us to land it. It's going to be good. All right. Can we get it? Yes, there it is. So now we can GX my opponent. Yep, we just had to increase our odds there, and I'm glad that we did, because things worked out very nicely. Do I toss this Guzma? How many Guzmas are gone? We've only lost two, and two is a lot, so we're not going to toss it. Uh, because if we get another Metal Energy next turn, we do take Knockout. So we'll Sun Eclipse for Knockout here. And yeah, next turn we can win if we keep our Guzma in hand, if we get another Energy, whether it's a DC or a Metal. And there it is.
And there it is. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, we just have to attack next turn. Is he going to be able to knock us out? A DCE does hit us for 100 damage, 130 with Choice Band, and uh, 190 with Evolution. So he needs DCE. He might win this game. He can win this game. That's crazy. All right, so if he gets DCE Choice Band here, he actually wins. And chances of that happening are uh, they're not super low because he has a big hand, which is why I wanted to end, but I really wanted to take Knockout there as well. So if he can win this, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. He already lost two DCE, so I'm hoping he doesn't have as high of a chance to land these things. Because uh, he already lost two DCs. I don't know if he's... He is playing Choice Band. He lost one Choice Band as well. So if he doesn't land these things without Zoark, come on, game. Don't do this to me. I deserve to win this game, man. I don't want to be losing to no freaking Zoark shenanigans like this. I think he whiffed. I think this game. I think he's going to scoop it up here. What is he? He can't search for anything. I know what he's doing. I mean, I guess he can. Maybe he's just trying to... No, because I just attacked next turn. I guess he's banking on me not having an energy in hand. Uh, but I, I do, so, <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do, he whiffed that, oh my god, okay, he doesn't have it, so we just attack here for game, because he only hits 170, so he's 10 short, but, uh, unless burning can stop me from attacking, we should be okay. Yep, and we meet your Tempest for game, that was kind of crazy. That, like, everything worked out for my opponent that game. Dude, I'm telling you, man, it doesn't matter what you're playing. If you're playing a Zoark in your deck, you're probably going to win. <laughs> it doesn't even matter nowadays. Oh, my God. Ugh. It's so heartbreaking. <laughs> this meta is... This this Pokemon game is just... Oh, God. I'm telling you, man. Zoark is too good. It's too good of a card. If it, if it can make something like that do well, then anything can do well. I'm hoping for that we get more burn support, though. I was hoping to get a, uh, a what's it called, a Verbank City equivalent to Burn, but we got Whale Park. Oh, and you know, while I'm here, I do want to talk about my uh, my Forbidden Light video that I did. So, a lot of you guys watched the Forbidden Light video. If you guys did, thanks, shout out to you. I didn't ask for likes in that video, which sucks. Um, because, like, it didn't get any likes, which is, like, whatever, it's fine. You sometimes, we ask for likes because sometimes people forget. I mean, I forget all the times I like a video, so... If somebody says, hey, like the video, then I'm like, oh, absolutely, because I support you. I'm going to like the video. So that's why we always ask you guys to like the video, because it's always really appreciated. Like, it helps the channel. It helps support us. The least the least I can do when I'm watching somebody else's video, I wish I knew what I was playing against, because I could lead in you if I, if I really wanted to. I don't really like leading with Dust. I'm, I'm going to lead with... Uh, I know, I can't play it on mute. It's too easy to knock out. Um, we also don't have Bridget this turn, which sucks. Uh, we actually don't have anything this turn. <laughs> it sucks. Uh, let's see what my opponent's playing. I hate, I hate, I hate that I, 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 uh, all right, he's playing Zork, so I'm glad I didn't play Mew. He might be playing Zork Decidueye or Zork Glisspod. Uh, both are kind of problematic. We can still Oko with our Duskmane, but it's like, eh. But anyways, the story, the moral of the story was just like, a lot of you guys were talking about Arceus Prism and Vicavolt Bulu. A lot of you guys were uh, in the comment sections, because uh, it was like, I was, I was trying, I was asking my buddy Steven that were there with me what Arceus Prism would be good in right now, and there's not much. And I couldn't think of anything, and I did think of Vic of Bulu, but I didn't think it was worth talking about, because the problem with Vic of Bulu, if any of you guys have ever played Vic of Bulu, you guys know the struggle. It's a good deck, but it's really, really hard to fit things into it, because everything in that deck works like clockwork. You need your heavy balls, you need your, um, you need your Vic of Volt, you need your, you need your, you need to get your Vic of Volt line going, you need, you need a lot of stuff to make that deck work. Uh, so, if you don't have those things, you're kind of done. Uh... <laughs> you need your you need your energies you need your uh energy recyclers i think is what they're called uh you have a lot of pokemon you play you have to and if you're playing it you're forced to play either octillery or volpix which neither of them are bad i think octillery is superior so then you're forced to play octillery then you got to play of course your draw spores your bridges your volkners or skyla skyla is still better um but yeah you got to play one of those you got a lot of cards you need to play so how are you going to fit arceus prism when you already have a pokemon accelerator being your vicavolt anyways <laughs> he's an enemy which is it'd be so nice if i could get myself a term of bridget off the end. come on bridget come on bridget let's get it let's get this money so yeah that's why i didn't talk about it because it's an attack <sighs> okay we got it yes oh okay i'll take it <laughs> it's an it's it's attack accelerates your pokemon right but 
Charger Bug is the electric type that would be on your bench, unless you're playing Tapu Koko promo, which is just another Pokemon on your bench. Another thing is you don't have bench space for Arceus Prism because you're gonna have two Grubbins, uh, Bulu, probably an Arceus, an Octillery, or not Arceus, probably, uh, probably a Lele and Octillery, and you're gonna find room for that Arceus as well, which has to be active, which is another thing because it's a one of, so you have to put it in the active point, uh, position at some point. So we're playing against Fire. Celsius is really good in that matchup. So we're going to have to lead Celsius this game. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather lead Celsius this game. I don't want to lead with these Pokemon that could be Oko'd by Baby since he's playing the Fire deck. Uh, I didn't see what the types were because I was talking and checking the video, but whatever. Um, it's just, it's rough, right? Because you have to make a cut. Yeah, we're playing against Volcanion. Oh, we got Bridget. Yay, finally. The complaining works. Remember, guys, when in doubt, complain. <laughs> Baby Mew seems pretty decent. Just want to take a look at what's prized. Baby Mew seems decent because uh, we have Duskman in our hand. Kind of want to attach to the Duskman. Uh, how good are you? 30, 60, 90. It's not good enough. Moon Press is a knockout, but it's unlikely to be to give us a knockout. Blaster is really good. I want to keep you alive because I want to use Blaster. Um, I guess we'll just attach to Mew for now. If he has Guzma steam ups, it's going to be kind of annoying. But I don't want to play Duskman until I have to. It's probably going to be next turn, but like, you guys get the idea. I've got the hiccups and it won't go away. So yeah, that's my opinions on Arceus in Bulu. I don't think it's super necessary. I think I'd rather just play more field blowers if I'm worried about Garbodor. To be honest, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's my opinions on that. Also, I'm probably going to do like a news video about all these new dragon type Pokemon we just got announced. I'm pretty excited about them actually. Dragon ideas, it seems like a lot of fun. Um, and there's a double steam up, uh, hit me for 80. Hit me baby one more time. Yeah. All right. So Volcania is going to be a problem, but we are playing metal. So, or, I mean, we are playing Zorak. So usually it's not going to be a huge problem. What do I toss here? got to play Udon because I'm probably going to play N. I guess I'll toss an N because I kind of want to manually attach this turn. Kind of, sort of want to manually attach. Oof. All right. Um, I can GX him if he takes a knockout next turn. Pretty unlikely, but we'll try. Let's see if I land this max hooker before I end. Nice. Because we have another Dustman in the deck, so it shouldn't be too hard for us to get it. Uh... DC is good as well. We have Guzma, which is really, really good. Uh, we have a lot of good things going on for us, so we'll just pass here. We have Metal Energy down there. We do not. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, but yeah, Dragonite seems cool. It's a one energy attacker that can hit for, I think it was like 70. And we have the new, we have Altaria back, and you can use the GX tech to put Altarias on your bench. It's so cool. I think it's super dope. Uh, I'm pretty excited. And it's a stage two, so you can use Super Boost for its big attacks. Uh, it is interesting, though. Because I thought they were over the idea of giving us multi-energy attacking dragons. I, I guess I can talk about this more in depth in the video. But we're getting multi-energy attacking dragons, but no sign of double dragon energy in sight. Which we already saw We already saw the entire deck list, and we didn't see any double dragon energy type energies. Oh, we're losing our Guzma. But we play four for a reason. Come on! And we have Lele still as well. Which, uh, I mean, I guess in the games I've been playing IRL, I think I've been having a Lele issue more often than I am right now. So... Something worth talking about. If he gets three steam ups and knocks me out, um, how annoying is that? It's not the most annoying thing. So just since we have a, uh, we can uh, we can beat here. My opponent's going off though, but it's Volcanion. I'm not like I'm not too threatened by it. I think we'll be all right. Power heater still not knocking me out. I want my opponent to knock me out just so I can GX my opponent. Um, I don't think my opponent will goose on me, but uh, we'll see. Let's ultra ball ourselves. I'm not too worried about a lot of the stadium shenanigans going on. Uh, so let's see if I can get some Zorax into Guzmas. Because before I touch a DC, I want to make sure I have some options. A Guzma would be really cool here because I want to knock out Octillery. Uh, I want to knock out his draw supporters as much as I possibly can. Um, because if he takes a two prize knockout, then I can still GX my opponent. So taking out one prize Pokemon is not going to be a big deal. Plus it lets my thing be active we got max looks here as well and we got the goose i was looking for so that things are looking nice oh things are looking real good things are looking super good we hit for 100 right yeah we do uh we can even blaster actually i can blaster for knockout which we'll just show my prizes then i don't have to worry about landing a bunch of energies on this 
Hmm. Blastering, Volcanian for knockout, revealing my prizes uh, while attacking with a one prize attacker, then going into potential things with a Guzma in hand. Is that worth? It, could, it seems like it's worth. Blastering seems really good here. But I don't know. I don't think there's anything really memorable prized. So I think I'm just going to knock out Octillery for the time being. Because I can blast her later. So as, long, as long as I have Celestial down, I can still blast her later. Let me take a look at my deck real quick. Maybe I should have done that before I made a decision. Because uh, we have Sogaleo Prism. That would be the only reason why I would want to blast her is to get my Sogaleo Prism. Uh, we have a puzzle prize. We don't have anything too relevant prize for me to want to blast her for the prize reason. It would just be for a knockout. Which we can still do later. Uh, so we'll just beat here. Get rid of his draw supporter. Like the more often we can get rid of his draw supporters, the better. There's a puzzle. So already the one card I would want off the prizes we just got. But Blaster is in the very easy, free, non-discarding knockout. So we still have that option if he does take a knockout here. I'll just unplug my own headphones. Uh, there you go. I need new headphones for my area. These headphones are old and like if you put them in that wrong position, they uh I can't hear the music anymore, and I like to jam to my music. But you know what? You know, just for this reason, I'm gonna since I'm talking about music, I'm gonna change the music real quick. Hopefully, listen to something different that I don't usually listen to. That's not true, but we'll change it to like. Actually, you know what? I like Mantine Surf. It's one of my favorites. Let me play the Mantine Surf music, or Mantine, however you pronounce Mantine, which I pronounce Mantine. But I could be wrong. Like I'm not. I'm not against the idea of being wrong. Does he have enough steam ups to knock me out? I think he does. If he does, then uh, I think we blaster. Maybe. I mean, we can still get max lookers, but I think we're gonna have to blast her. Because I want him to knock out babies. Let's see if I can top deck. I ooh, double Zork. We can get max lookers. I think we uh Huh. I wanna play N. So I think we do this. I want N down. And I kind of want Max Luxor because we don't have that many metal energies gone. So we can definitely land this. And taking the knockout with Blaster is really good as well. So I like Max Luxor. I like N. We're going to go for it. <clears throat> uh, I guess I'll play it on Registeel. I don't see any reason to not do it. Let's see if I can land this. Oh, we didn't land it. That sucks. I love landing extra Max Luxors, uh, but it's fine. I will right, we'll play N here and we'll Blaster my opponent. Um, 90 HP means two steam ups. He actually doesn't take a knockout on Mew if he doesn't get another Volcanion down, which I think is hilarious. So we're going to actually do this. And we landed this, which is great for next turn. And I don't really want to toss anything else in my hand, so I don't think I will. Fighting Fury Belt is pretty interesting. Does it keep us alive? Because I can just toss it. Um, having 230 HP, 190 means he has to hit 100. 30, 60, 80... Uh, 110. 110. I guess technically choice band and two steam ups could knock out my dusk man. So I will go ahead and play that down. I don't really want to trade Zoroark because it's my last Zoroark. Let me take a look at my deck one more time. Do we have Zoro? Okay, so we can get a Zoro off the prizes here, which is good. Um, yeah, we'll blaster. Blaster is a knockout, right? Like I'm not. He doesn't have a belt. Good. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what we get off the prizes. I definitely want Zoro. And uh, Cynthia is good. That way I don't have to play down my Lele. So yeah, now he needs Blower on top of like more Volcanians and lots of energies in his hand. He's going to get Octillery back here, which is another easy knockout for... Oh, no, never mind. He's going to Lele. But once again, Octillery is another easy knockout for Zorak later in the game. Uh, if I can Guzma again, which I can potentially do like that. Oh, boom. There we go. So that was a really good showcase of like everything in that deck. So that's really cool. <laughs> uh, but that deck was gonna manhandle us too but like that's that's cool so that would have been like one of our worst matchups I think just because he had so many energies on the board but because we were able to play around with things attack with Mew like just slowly attach use our max elixirs abuse cards like blaster which is really really useful like, even blaster in that case where we didn't really need to blaster but having being able to hit 130 for like three attachments is really really nice or 180 I should say and we, and we ran into plenty of blowers. We had double puzzle to get a blower in case he did have a Fighting Fury Belt. So we had a lot of options there. 
And we finally have Bridget lead. I mean, we got Bridget lead a couple times, but I didn't want to lead Lele. <laughs> I'll say that right now. So we're going to have to get Duskmane and start attaching things, which is not bad. Because uh, we have we have a really good turn, too, as long as he doesn't end us. But, like, it's not looking the best for us either. Two Zorwas, and we'll get a Duskmane here. I don't know what my opponent's playing yet, which is why I'm doing this. We have Soul Glare Prism, so we're not probably not going to blast her here. We have all of our... We have one Zorwa prize. What else is prized? We have all of our puzzles. We have a one energy prized... One Zoro, one energy. Looks like we have a belt prize as well. No, we don't. Never mind. How many max luxers do we have prized? Uh, one max luxer prize. So, but we have a lot of energies in the deck. I think it's worth playing max luxer now. Oh, we whiffed it. Never mind. Forget I said anything, guys. <laughs> Forget I said anything, guys. We have a, we have a good Cynthia for the next turn at least. I thought eight energies with like a forty card deck would have been decent, but it's fine. I could have saved it for the following turn as well. He's an enemy, which is perfectly fine. That's more cards for me. Uh, my opponent's playing Electric, so he's probably playing Vikabulu and he led with Lele. Vikabulu is problematic because it can Oko us. Not, <clears throat> not the belted us, but the uh, regular us. So we can get, we can get our Max Luxor Bridger back, guys. <laughs> we could do it, man. We could do it. Uh, we don't have much going on, and neither does my opponent. So I think we can play it slow. Let's play Cynthia here, honestly. Uh, no need to retreat quite yet. So we'll just play Cynthia. And see if we can get ourselves some uh, Zorix. Nice. We got Blaster. Is Blaster useful? Blaster does Oko a couple of things. But I don't think it's worth playing it down yet. What's our hand looking like? It scratched my eye. It's probably the noise that you guys all heard. Uh, we'll trade away the metal. Metals in Discard Pile are good for Registeel and Sogaleo Prism. Uh, we got another Metal Energy in hand. If we can land a Max Luxor next turn. And, uh, well, we'd have to land two max luxes and manually retreat, which seems a little bit more difficult. We'll see what happens. He might manually retreat so he doesn't, I don't know. I don't think he does manually retreat, though. Uh, I would like Baby Mew as well, because Baby Mew could be useful. I want to play down, maybe I should play Nest Balls in this deck. Over the Bridgets, but obviously Bridget was really good that game. So there's his Heavy Ball, he can finally get down his Bulus and stuff. We can, we can lose him up a Bulu, though. So Bulu is an easy knockout. Uh, unfortunately, he has not knocked down any of our Pokemon yet, so we can't GX our opponent. Which is why I kind of want to play um, Celesteela, because having Celesteela down for Blaster seems pretty decent in this matchup, because I don't think... Right now, it doesn't seem like we're going to be behind, and having Blaster as a failsafe to also knock out things like uh, Octillaries and just 2 a KO things while having a massive HP number could be useful. Could definitely be useful. He's playing Belts, so he doesn't actually... I'm surprised. I'm so surprised. I guess they play Splits, because I've been seeing a lot of Belted... Bulu's lately, which doesn't make too much sense to me because you think you want choice bands so you can knock out Zorix in one hit, but they play belts for I guess 220 HP, which doesn't I can still knock it out without a field blower. It seems weird. It seems weird. It seems very weird. I probably would have played it down on like actually, never mind. Like, where else do you play, honestly? <laughs> it's still a 2 AKO with Zorix though, but they can just GX me. Do they have Charge Bug down yet? I guess not. We don't have we can preserve our blower or we can trade away our blower. But once again, we do need to land a Max Luxor if I am planning on getting an attack off this turn with Celesteela. Or with Duskmane, I mean. If not, I can probably just goose him up with the Octillery and let him knock out my Zoark and then GX my Duskman. GX with my Duskman, I mean. He's going to bring this out to the active, so he's just trying to put some damage on the board. That's fair. Mm, okay, if I land this, then we're in a good position. Nice. So we can actually take a knockout here. Yeah. Um, there's nothing I really want. I guess we can trade a blower. How many blowers are gone? Not too many, right? Yeah, we still have two more in the deck. I'm not too worried about it. I'm probably going to Guzma this turn, which is why I'm thinking about all these different avenues of play. Uh, we can toss Registeel. Registeel seems decent, though, so I don't really want to. Um, I, I want to get a second Zorak out, but I wouldn't trade anything in my hand if I did, so... I also want to get Sogaleo Prism because we're going to have a lot of energies down there. So I think I'm just going to knock out this thing and just continue to take out knockouts little by little. And yeah, we'll Meteor Tempest for knockout here. Chances of him being able to knock me out next turn, fairly low. The Kabulu is pretty bad when you don't get out your Charger Bugs early game. And he only has bench space for one Charger Bug, which we will do our best to abuse. Because if he does get down a Charger Bug, I'm going to try to get a Fighting Fear Belt, attach a DC. And do do the do there. He does have Tapu Coco in his deck list, so 
interesting. Double Coco is decent, especially if you're playing the belted version. For sure, for sure, for sure. How long has this video been? 40 minutes? This might be the last game. I was hoping to find like one really, really good game, but like, I mean, we've, we played a lot of games here. We showed off a lot of this deck's assets, so I'm not too worried about it. So he's gonna attach choice band here now, right? Just to dig a knockout potentially. You can hit me for 60, leaving me with 130. There's his Bridget, so he can finally get down the baby. All right, um, the problem is I don't have a free retreater. So if I am gonna Guzma here, I would have to get both a Fighting Fury Belt and a uh, and a baby and a baby Mew down. So it's not impossible by any means, but it's a little bit more annoying because I'm spending a one less turn attaching energies to like the right Pokemon. So we have to trade and just get, if we can get one of those two cards, we'll be okay. Uh, if we don't, then we're not, it's not the end of the world, but it's not the best for us either. There we go, Baby Mew. So I will play down Baby Mew. Ah, uh, but the thing is we still need Fighting Fury Belt, so I can try to trade one more time. We'll toss Registeel. I don't like tossing Registeel, but uh, we'll trade one more time. The thing is, what do I what do I trade for? We have three belts in the deck still. What do I trade away? Do I trade away Guzma? Or do, I mean Cynthia? I guess I do. <clears throat> because I'm I'm going to do the thing no matter what this turn. I'm still gonna I'm gonna Guzma no matter what this turn. Something's coming up. I don't want Bulu being in the active. Oh, we whiffed it. <sighs> that sucks. Double puzzle does what for me? I can try to land two more Max Luxuries, which isn't actually horrible. Double Puzzle does get me back Registeel and... a draw Supporter for the turn. This is a tough turn. Because I could take a Knockout here um, with Blaster if I landed both Max Luxuries, which is hilarious, but there's only six energies left in the deck. Now, granted, the deck is kind of small right now. Should I do it? Because that sounds hilarious. <laughs> that actually sounds like the greatest meme of all time. Because this video has been pretty smooth so far, I'm going to do it. We're going to try to land two Max Luxers. Oh god, it's... Oh man. <laughs> if we landed though, it's going to be the greatest meme of this, of this channel. Oh yes, yes, yes. Please, please let me land this. It'd be so funny. Yeah! <laughs> ah, it's so funny! <laughs> we get to keep our Duskmane alive, keep a baby attacker in the active, and knock out a Lele at the same time. That's funny. That's super funny. Uh, we'll blast her here. <laughs> Dude, shout out to Celesteela. This is also good because we get to put down a Celesteela this turn. Um, if we land a Max Luxor, is that useful? I guess these are better than like anything else I can put in my hand right now. Because we're probably going to have Sogaleo Prism. Uh, if I can land a Max Luxor onto Sogaleo Prism, then I could switch my Lele out into Sogaleo and do the do there. But attach a bunch of energies to my Pokemon. Um, with two prizes remaining, I can knock out Grubbins easily. I can attack with Zork. I can load up both Celesteela. Actually, I can load up. I can probably load up um, Sogaleo safer since I still have all three Max Luxors in the deck, or three belts in the deck. And we have two traders as well, so whatever we top deck, we can trade. So we have a lot of options here, if he does take a knockout this turn. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, having eight Max Luxors in a deck is wild. It's wild. <laughs> and the odds weren't that bad either, because assuming we have all of our Metal Energies in the deck, which we did, uh, which I'm pretty sure we already checked in the earlier game too, which is why I felt pretty confident in that. We had uh, we had six metal energies in the deck with only twenty five cards remaining or twenty seven cards remaining. So that's like one every what was that six twelve eighteen twenty four. That's like almost one every four card. Like one every let's just say one every five card was a metal energy. That's really good for us. So and it's funny. So and uh, we're all about that humor here in Orbomb Industries. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can pull off the the Corona impact. Uh, we definitely don't need this fighting fury ball right now. But what I want to do first is try to land this Max Luxor while we still have energies in the deck. Uh, no, we whiff that one. That sucks. Because I definitely don't want this thing to be in the active. But I think we have to sack off Lele. Puts us a little bit behind. 
Oh, we even got a energy off that. That is just some a booty in the butt. I don't know what that means, but sure, sure. Oh, we got all of our energies off that. That's wild. All right. Um, there's not many options we have here. He can't Oko us with 180 if we attach a belt to it. So. Sure. If he Guzma field blowers it, that could be annoying. But I think I have to attach here. Yeah, we can still lose this game. We can still lose this game. Guzma, if he Guzma field blowers, he can take a knockout, but he can't take a knockout otherwise. Hold on guys, give me two seconds. Alright, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, kids came home like three hours earlier than expected, um, which is fine. I wasn't ready. I wasn't. I was not ready for it. So if I load up both Sogaleo and Necrozma here, I take a knockout on one thing or another. I want to keep Ultra Ball in hand, so I think I'm gonna toss his Max Elixir, so I can get a ooh. Never mind. We don't need to keep Ultra Ball in hand. Uh, <laughs> um, we don't have any energies left in the deck, do we? One, two, three. Three plus seven is ten. We have one energy left in the deck. Uh, we have six attachments, so two here, three here. We still have plenty. We don't need to keep this Ultra Ball, so I'm not too worried about it. So I'm going to play some Axis just for the sake of it. And we actually landed our very last energy with it. That's crazy. Um, there's nothing else I can really Oko. So we're going to go ahead and trade away this Ultra Ball since we don't need any more. Manual attachments are good. Um, uh, we don't need Bridget for sure. I'd rather keep Field Blower. Uh, if hitting 120 is not enough for a knockout, so I'm actually going to Field Blower this thing now. Uh, ooh, Belt is good. Blower is good. Toss your Choice Band. And who do I attach to? I can do 130. I'm just trying to think of ways I can win this game. Attach here, and we'll Radiant Star. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a lot of energies. We put two here, we have a belt in hand. Two here, and we have two more we can play down. So I guess we play them on a Zoric. Sure, no point putting on the Celestealo when Zoric also achieves two KOs easily. We still need to land our last Guzma. We have two more Guzmas in the deck, we also have two more puzzles in the deck, and we have some draw spores we can get as well, so. We have a couple options here, but something that'll be knocked out next turn. Uh, oh, well, let me be more specific. If he doesn't knock out Duskmane, oh, if he doesn't, if he knocks out the active, that's fine. If he knocks out the bench Duskmane, that's fine as well. Uh, but if I need to get Guzma, so it's not perfect. Like this is still not perfect scenario because he can still win the game if I don't get Guzma next turn. But we have thinned the deck out quite a bit. Another thing I could have done was instead of tossing that Ultra Ball, was uh, tossing that Max Elixir since it wasn't super necessary. Tossing the Max Elixir and uh, Ultra Balling to get a Pokemon down, help thin the deck. We don't have any more Lele's, but thinning the deck would have been good. He's going to go ahead and try to knock this out, which is his best play. For sure, his best play. Uh, we can go into Zorak ourselves. <coughs> we have a couple of options here. Uh, but what I need to do... What I need to do is get Guzma. We have two more Guzmas left with 14 cards left and two trades, which is four extra cards. So we have a lot of different things we can get here. Let's see what happens. We can retreat for, we can retreat with Zorak. So um, having Zorak in the active isn't bad. He's gonna toss his energies to do that, which is great. So I'm glad that he tosses energies when he has no energies left. So that's pretty hype. He has one prize left, so we can still lose. Like Choice Ban, Energy Recycler could still mean we lose. Uh, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to land Guzma here if we want to guarantee win this game. All right, there it is. GG. 
There we go. That's why we play high counts of Guzman. This is what I was telling you guys earlier in the beginning of the video, though. We definitely play four Guzmans. 100% of the time, we play four Guzmans. We never not play four Guzmans in a deck that's reliant on taking exact knockouts so that we don't waste our energies at any given point. So, and we got to show off how useful all of our cards were. We showed off Sokolio Prism. We showed off the puzzles. We showed off the puzzles from Max Luxus. We showed off the Max Luxus. We showed off the Reggie Steel. Did we show off the Reggie Steel? I don't know if we showed off the Reggie Steel. But uh, this is the deck list, guys. We showed off everything. We showed off how turbo and how ex much acceleration we could put onto this deck. We didn't really show off the Mallows. Uh, because we managed to get into our Registeels and our DCEs, but Mal's are still good in case you couldn't land into those. Mal's are especially good against Buzzwell because that way you can actually get your combo pieces to knock out Buzzwell. So it's still very good for Buzzwell. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about the deck in the comment section down below. Blaster GX MVP. I love Blaster. Definitely keeping Blaster in this deck list. Uh, in fact, I'm going to have to pull out my. Uh, my blaster, my Celsius that's a put in the deck later. Uh, but regardless, so drop a like if you have not already. Subscribe, share, all that good jazz. Long video. Remember, 50 likes means next day upload. Let's hit that support. I appreciate all of you guys. You guys are all wonderful. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.